everybody i hope you're doing good uh, so as i've already sent you one document where uh, the formulas related to calvius's coefficient of correlation is mentioned we will be solving calvius's coefficient of correlation in two ways okay that first one is the direct method and the second one is assume mean method okay so where we assume the mean and we find out uh, okay using uh, assume mean method so their formula will change so then let's understand direct method it's always very very important to learn the formula perfectly okay so carl pearson's coefficient of correlation uh, the direct method formula is given as you can see on the screen so please learn the formula perfectly because once you learn the formula formulation of the table will be very very simple okay so i have not written the method here so i'll quickly write the method carl pearson's pearson's coefficient of correlation okay so as you can see on the screen the formula is n into summation x y minus summation x summation y divided by n uh, under root don't forget under root this is something that you really forget uh, while doing the problem under root n summation x square minus summation x whole square this is also a point where people tend to make uh, mistake so learn this formula perfectly so we will see one problem quickly uh, calculate coefficient of correlation from the for the following data given below using direct method so this is the data always learn the formula perfectly it makes formulation of the table easy so once you know the formula you know what to put in the table so i have directly put here so that i can save uh, time so x and y i have directly uh, taken from the question as you can see and this is very simple and basic you don't need much explanation for this you can see x square is what 9 square 9 nines are 81 8 eights are 64 7 sevens are 49 then uh, 6 6 are 36 then 5 fives are 25 16 9 4 and four and one okay then you have uh, y also have taken directly from the table you know y square is again 225 16 16 are 256 196 169 121 144 164 81 okay and then xy xy is x into y will give you xy so 135 128 98 78 <coughs> 55 48 30 16 okay 9 and the next very simple thing you need to uh, add everything together this is the most important part 48 250 285 108 1356 597 okay then put all this in the formula okay n as you all know is number of items we have uh, 9 okay and then uh, x y you got 597 okay and then uh, x square you got 45 okay y sorry x you got 45 summation y you got 108 then x square you got 285 y square you got 1356 okay very simple you have the formula right in front of you you're just putting all these values into the formula so 9 into 597 minus 45 into 108 okay divided by don't forget this under root this under root is something which we forget when we are quickly very much involved and we do the problem now most of the times we forget the values so carefully this one also be very careful when you are putting summation x whole square it is so that is also something where you should be very careful whole square okay so you can sum this up to 5373 minus 4860 divided by under root 
टू फाइव सिक्स फाइव माइनस टू जीरो टू फाइव देन कम्स वन टू टू जीरो फोर माइनस सिक्स सिक्स फोर ओके सो देन यू हैव आर इज इक्वल टू वन फाइव फाइव वन थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई अंडर रूट फाइव फोर्टी इन टू अंडर रूट फाइव फोर्टी ओके सो दैट इज फाइव वन थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव फोर्टी एम मेड अ मिस्टेक दिस इज आल्सो फाइव फोर्टी ओके सो अंडर रूट फाइव फोर्टी इन टू अंडर रूट फाइव फोर्टी इज फाइव फोर्टी ओनली सो यू गेट द फाइनल आंसर जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव ओके सो जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव इज अ कोरिलेशन वैल्यू आई हैव जस्ट पुट वन प्रॉब्लम टू सॉल्व प्लीज सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम एंड सेंड इट टू मी थैंक यू